Morning everybody. With great respect and great love, I welcome you all with all my heart. I met Annette four years ago at my first book launch. And that meeting with Annett and his ACT team is one of the most defining moments in my life. Because from that moment right up till today, the UGF, the foundation, has worked together with ACTT to assess hundreds and hundreds of people's life. And as I stand here today, I feel so proud that I'm launching my second book at the right place with the right people. Now, I always wanted to write a very simple and easy to read business book. I had lots of ideas, they were all floating around but I had no structure. Then last year, January, while I was asleep, in my dream, I saw the words, business is easy as A, B, C, D, E. I woke up and I started to think and think and think, what is this message? And after lots of hours of thinking, something flashed in front of me and there it was. A is equal attitude. B equals believe in yourself. C equals customer satisfaction. D equals the doing. That's the easy part of business. Once you got the A, B and C, D is easy. And then E is once you empower yourself, you must then empower other people. And so started the process of this book. And here we are now. Today, I'm launching my book at ACTT. Now, what is the purpose of my book? On the one hand, the purpose is to educate people in essential business skill. But on the other hand, is to develop entrepreneurial mindset. That's very, very important. To be successful in business, you must have a right mindset combined with taking the right action. Now, what's the biggest challenge facing South Africa is the high unemployment rate. Now, to reverse the strength, we need the youth and the members of the community to be equipped with business skills on how to start your business. Now, let's take our schooling system, for example. Normal philosophy is you go to school, get a matric, go to university, get a degree, and then get a secure job. The challenge is if you don't have this job. Our school system is career orientated. It teaches you how to become an employee to work for somebody, not employer to be your own boss. So now what we're studying at ACTT is from grade 8 to 12, we will te we'll be teaching these children how to do business, and our guideline will be the book. The book will guide the children. I will be coming here to give them lectures Sundays. Now let's take, if we do that, let's take now they go to school, matric, university, they graduate. What do you have? You have a choice. Either you go and work for somebody or you become your own business owner because now you have the tools and then you will employ more people and so we will have this job creation. The other leg which I'm going to challenge is in the community of Katlahong. Let's say we have a community here where we have individual businesses. If we can get some of these business to do community business training program, they come together in one network. What can happen? If they buy from each other, the economy of that network will grow. If they help each other, for example, where do you buy milli mill cheap, where you buy this, the economy will grow. And if they join together, if one business has a resources surplus, they can then assist another business. With the result, the community development will take place. I strongly believe in a power of one. If one person helps another, helps another, nobody knows 
where this process can. You will touch people you don't even know. Now, Malala, the Nobel Prize winner said this, and listen carefully, and this is what I believe in. One child, one teacher, one pen, one book can change this world. Mr. Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change this world. Education should be the foundation upon which we build our children's future. Educate, enlighten, empower, and transform. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to officially launch this book by giving my good friend and the man who has made difference, Enid. I want to officially launch the book by giving Anand my first copy of the book. Now I want to call upon Palisa. Is Palisa in the audience? Right, ladies and gentlemen, I only met Palisa about a month ago. She is doing sterling work in the community. She is a life coach. And Polisa is going to be assisting us in coordinating the business training on the ground level. She doesn't know about business. She'll be part of the program, but she'll coordinate the whole effort. Thank you, Polisa. This gentleman is one of the business owners we're going to start this pilot project off. He's been given the book as the first guideline. I will be personally visiting his business, and we're going to, together, identify challenges and then put in procedures that can make an impact in his business. I believe in small changes, big difference. I'll be with you. Police has identified other six businesses which we will be starting off on the pilot project. Now, let me just quickly demonstrate to you how easy to run a business. Now, you must help me here. Would I be correct to say that everyone sitting here, you are actually breathing in and you are breathing out? Are we doing that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Right. So as you breathe in, say, customers, sales. And as you breathe out, say, expenses, profit. If you can do that, you can run a business. Christmas has come and gone, but I want to make it a big Christmas day for Anna. And on behalf of UGEF, we are donating 100 books to start the project. Right, so he'll be in a position to identify scholars that want to run the program, and we will start over that. Now I want to call upon the credit for the completion of my book goes to what I call my backstage team. Now, team stands for together, everybody's action makes a difference. And the first person I want to call up is Dudu. Thank you, Dudu. Dudu did the proofreading of the book. The second person I want to call up is Maya, who's a business owner of a supermarket in Lanesia. Thank you, my dear Maya, gave me advice and gave me feedback. The third person I want to call up is Wimmel. Come up, Wimmel. Wimmel is a young man was responsible for the front and back cover design. The 
Now I want to call up my daughter, Ati. Ati was responsible for all the typing. There's 200 pages there. She did the design, she did the layout, and she coordinated the printing of the books. Thank you. Now I want to call up my better half, my wife, Chandra. Thank you for your love and support. And ladies and gentlemen, all the work that gets done in UGF, which is a collection, sorting out, purchasing, distribution of food, hampers, is done by this lady. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, these are the five people A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> you are going to make a big difference in the Catalan community. Thank you. Uh, firstly, I want to thank you all for your presence here today. Thank you for coming. Your presence will definitely add value to today's function. Then I want to thank all my supporters. And some of my supporters are sitting here. Thank you very much for your continuous support. And as a result of your support, I'm able to stand here and assist ACT team. I also want to say a special thank you to my brother Vijay and his wife, who have sponsored all the sandwiches and the drinks for today's function. I would also like to thank everyone who assisted ACT and myself with the preparation of the sandwiches. And I want to thank Annette and his team for organizing today's function.